Hello, Jim Tech Buzz, new video, and we got a new phone. This time it's the Asus ROG 5S, Republic of Gamers. So that's what we have here. This is what the box looks like. This is a pre reviewed unit already, but we're going to go through it and show you some stuff on the phone. So you get this package here, which contains your SIM removal tool. You get some stickers, which is cool. And you get this massive booklet that I don't think anyone will bother picking up and reading. So, we'll pop all them to one size for a minute and continue. So, we get the device itself, so that's it there. So, we'll come back to that in a minute. And also, inside we have got... A bag with two little, whatever they are, I don't know, but we'll come back to the, all these little bits later on. So they look like buttons actually, I think that's what they are, they're spare buttons. You've got a nice cable here which is braided with the branding on it, and of course you've got a cool plug. And that's a very really heavy plug, but it has the branding on it there. As you can see, USB-C, ROG up on front there. That's the heaviest plug I've probably picked up in a long time. But... That's not really a problem. So, that's what else is on the front there. So that's your launch army crate. And you'll have an army crate app as well. So that's pretty much it. So let's get on to the phone. So that's what it looks like there. So you've got a lot of stuff going on here. You've got a Snapdragon 888. We're going to power it up there as well. So this is the back force, which looks really cool. As you can see there, I like this camera design up on top, so bring it up a little bit closer so you can have a look right there. And it is slightly raised, so does that. It doesn't lock on the table, it's not a big deal. And that's pretty much it there. So on the side you've got a button. These are raised. You've got some branding here in the corner. And more branding down here in the corner. You look at kind of X grips. So on the bottom here you've got a headphone jack. You've got your USB-C port or same tray here and another button on the side, which again is slightly raised. So we're gonna power it on anyway. Nice weight on the phone as well. I like a nice bit of weight in the phone too. So you've got Snapdragon 8 8 plus 5G here, you've got thermals, so you've an aeroactive cooler. You've got a 144 hertz display by Samsung, which is cool. You hear the start up there. You've audio file grade dual phone face and stereo speakers. I do like my speakers on my phone. Air Trigger 5, multiple inputs for total control. You have a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. All this setup looks really cool here. And you've got features chosen for gamers and you've got flagship triple cameras which we're going to get a look at as we test it out. I know it's for gamers but we'll also check out the camera as well because it's nice to see what you get with your package you know and you've got android 11 and you've got ll lpddr5 storage so you've got 16 gigabytes and you've got ufs 3.1 so you've got different grades of storage as well which is pretty cool and you've got that nice display so you've got your cameras you've got a camera on front and you've got your rear cameras as well which is nice so you have got a Sony main camera with an IMX 686-64MP camera and you have got a 1.73 and an f1.8 aperture so that's what you're kind of getting there the front, for 20, front camera is 24 megapixel and you've got different levels of other options as well so what we're going to do is we're going to Turn it on and see what we'll quickly go through what's on the device and then we're going to take it off for test. But I do like the look on this in the back, but it is a fingerprint magnet, but it looks really cool. Nice bit of weight on it as well, as I said, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to put in our information and come back to you then after this break. So we're back, we just put our information in on the phone. You can see here it's still there, we're going to not hang around and keep you waiting. So you've got 
everything there on the outside you've got a port up as well here for charging and that uh, the transfer too and you've got your volume controls your power on all that kind of stuff is all there so if you take a swipe up we're going to have a look at the app tray to show you what's in it you can see it's got this custom team so if you have army crate date isis data transfer file manager some extra stuff there sound recorder some stuff like that built in there down here you have got other information so you have the usual setup there which you can change so your network you've got your connected devices your apps and notifications sound and vibration so if we listen to that so we have got volume sync outdoor mode complete mute volume key control smart ringtone media all that kind of stuff in there for your sounds which is pretty good which is a bit more extra than you find in your typical smartphone so ringtone we'll just have a look here Nice stereo sound coming out of them speakers. I'm liking that. So, actually, we just go back some more. It's a nice one, too. So that'll just give you an idea of some of the ringtones there, they sound really cool as well and you've got, as I said, different features here for profiles which is good if you don't see that many on your typical uh, smartphone as I've said already. So you come to your display next, so you've got adaptive brightness, night light, splendid default, smart screen on and here is your other setting here for your colour temperature which you can pick there, up to yourself what you want to do. You've got sleep, so you can change that from 15 seconds to 10 minutes. Right, auto refresh rate. So you've got from 60 to 144 hertz, which is all the rave these days, your screen refresh rate. So you've got the top here, 144, and it will automatically change, which is nice. Font style, so actually we go back up here for system color. So you've got dark and light themes, I always go for the dark theme, better on the eyes, power button menu style. So you've got classical, colourful, calm and elegant. Next up, font style, you've got three different types there. Display size, you can see here, so that'll just really change your text. Your um, animation speed, so you've got window animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale. You can pick all them yourself, which will look funny. Go through our says and we're finally fully so up your status icon so that will give you an idea there pretty nice as well and your quick settings layout which is in classic and you've got one-handed mode as well which will bring it down so that's what that's going to do in there so we go back into these settings clear all this stuff here and let's go back to where we were so you've got your security and lock screen now it did take a couple of minutes to put my finger for the which is a bit annoying and you've got your options here too so you have got your google play security update which is november 21 we'll see if that's updated since so you've got your pattern face unlock and smart lock there and you've got the rest of the other options available there as you'd find in most smartphones today back out of that and advance so you've got mobile manager game genie twin apps safeguard and optiflex you've got gesture controls so you've got one-handed mode quick launch camera and air triggers you've got screen recorder and screenshot you've got pocket mode as well and glove mode pretty nice and that's pretty much what you've got inside there mm -hmm. and your team store my team's wallpapers and wallpaper slide so so you'll have to we we'll just get back out of that because we don't really need to see that at the minute. And let's 
get back into the settings. Done. So, that's pretty much what you've got in the settings there. So you've a lot of extras in there than you will find, as I said, on your typical phone. So back into the menu here. We'll go and have a look at the camera. So this is what's here all together and in our camera function here. So tag your photos. No, we never tag before photographs. So you've got slow-mo, time-lapse, video, portrait, panel, document. So you can scan documents, which is pretty cool. And in the more mode, we have got motion tracking, pro video, pro, macro and night. And I have my little plant in front of me there, always as always for the macro shot. So you can see pretty good in there. So you can also reverse the camera there. So you've got 14 trees, or 4 trees, 69 and 1.1 ratios. And you can go up like that there. So you can get a good idea here of the macro, which is pretty cool. So that's nice. And for portrait, we'll just pull it back there. For a quick sample. Camera seems to be quick, so we'll just do a quick test on the camera. Seems to be snappy enough. So you've got HDR and HDR Auto as well. And you've got your zoom, two and one there. And you can go up to eight times zoom there. So that's that in the zoom department. Video, right, settings. So you have got FHD 190, 1920 by 1080. You've got codex, video stabilization, audio effects, edit camera modes, grid, camera sound location, all the usual things you'll find in your camera. So this can shoot up to 8K. So you're not gonna really need that in this day and age at the moment. Your 4K, so you've got 30 frames per second, and I presume the bottom tier there is 60 or 30. So FHD, you've got 1920, 1080, same again, so I'm going to leave it on 4K, that one there. So that'll give you an idea of what you've got with your camera layout there. So you can change up on top here as well, which is pretty handy to quick change it. And of course, your slow motion, which I like to have on a phone. So you can do HD up to 480 FPS, 4K 120, which is pretty good. That would be nice to test out now as well. So that's nice to see. There's a lot of good stuff on this beside your gaming stuff. So they're giving you plenty of options there. So that's that there and that there. You've got your lens. And you've got these, we've checked these out already. So that's pretty much what you're going to get on the camera end of things. So just so you know yourself when or if you decide to pick one up, which is nice. So on the outside here, you've got your usual media controls, which you can go in and change in there. And that's it there. And again, you can see you've got the difference. You've got a media player in here. And you've got audio wizard, which is dynamic, which will enhance your game and audio. Pretty nice, so that's that there. So you can go in there and change what you want to do there, which looks pretty nice. You've got a treble and bass as well, which you can drag by the sliders there, which is nice. So you've got game, cinema, music, and dynamic. So that's pretty cool. It's nice to see you've got that built into the phone. So that's really about it. A quick first look, and you can see what the screen is like there too, and it's pretty decent looking and you've got a little bit of bezel top and bottom but that doesn't really bother me thinner on the sides but overall it's a good screen it's nice and bright and it's good at angles as well and you know enjoying your content it shouldn't be a problem so let's have a look and see if there's anything else here we can quickly talk about before we head off because we've a couple of phones in for testing and we need to start getting moving on them so that's well that'll do for now so again there's our triple camera set up on the back you've got a flash there again the back is a bit of a fingerprint magnet but so look most phones are like that today and that's just really about it you've got a nice solid design overall feels really nice in the hand as well there's a nice bit of weight on it which i like with my phones and that's really about it for the first look and unboxing of this latest phone from 
ROG and it's the phone ROG Phone 5S. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, drop them below. But that'll do for now. We're off to do some work and we'll talk to you in the next video because we've more phones to do, as I said, plus lots of other tech products that are in. But overall, pretty nice first impressions. So let's see how it performs overall. And of course, we will have some footage, as I said, with videos and camera footage as well. So you can see what you're going to get. The camera and video seems to be promising what they have to offer here. I look forward to testing that out as well as the gaming capabilities. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video.